Let's see what happens when I molest them. Stand there, please. Okay. Ready? Now this is a maribond. So it's going to come off and it's going to sting the hell out of all of us, right? Here they are up here. They're up on top. Okay, okay. Yes. I did get three stings. It's nothing. It's next to nothing. Yeah, my one sting is nothing. So, a, uh, a farmer in Venezuela once referred to referred to one of these, uh, a colony of those as, a, or that wasp as a mild-mannered little thing, with a mancita. And the... This is... Uh, locally called Tirith. So, um, botanical name is Siphon Aroma. And they would make baskets yeah, yeah, with these Tirith. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you have to get a permit to, to cut these Tirith and so to make your baskets. So this is another Heliconia here, Heliconia hirsuta. So Chris, we have to look out for ants here. Yeah. So the younger ones have, um, uh, the earlier, uh, younger inflorescences, very typically have ants all over them. Yeah. And what Shane Bala found is that there are little tiny um, extra floral nectaries on the bracts. And yeah. so the ants come to the... Uh, to the bracts to collect sugar. We weren't able to demonstrate that the uh, the plant um, derives a, uh, a reproductive advantage from the presence of ants. Yeah. We don't know that it does, but it's the obvious working hypothesis. So you see it's, um, it's um, roughly similar to Heliconia siticorum, but not, not too difficult to tell apart. Okay, this is Nasuda termes ephrati. Ephrati. And as you can see, it's got a relatively smooth outer covering. If we get a if we get a Nasuda termes corniger, you'll see that the outer covering is much lumpier. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a breach in it. And there, okay, there's a breach. Not a problem. If we come back tomorrow, they will have they will have covered it up. And I don't know if it'll show up in your video. Yes, so okay. active, plenty. But there you see, there's plenty coming out. And what is happening right now is the workers are going in, the soldiers are coming out. And if you take a piece of this and you smell it, you want to smell it, Dan? Yeah. What's it smell like? It's pungent, right? Yeah, pungent. Smell. Is it? It's kind of like uh, like pine. Yeah, and it's it's an in fact these are terpenoids, these are its defensive chemicals, and now the curious thing about this is that there is the other species, Nasuda termes corniger, has quite a different nest. I mean, when you get anywhere close, you can tell uh, you can tell which is which, but the termites themselves can hardly be told apart. It's very difficult to distinguish them. So that's another very good example of um, of um, ethos species. They're very easily distinguishable on the basis of their behavior or the product of their behavior, but physically they're almost, they can hardly be told apart at all. And if it wasn't for the difference in the nest, you'd think it was all just one species. Okay, so, and they're yeah. moving fast. Those yeah. are army ants. They're army not, ants. They're not the, uh, the most prominent species yeah. of army ant. But they're they're uh, much smaller than the average. Yes, yeah, smaller. Ants. Well, not, not, not average. These are average. Uh, yeah. But but the, the ones that we typically think of army ants are much bigger and much more polymorphic. These are monomorphic. All the workers are pretty much all alike. But that's... Try not to disturb them, man. 
Um, so th those are um, what are called turtle ants. Um, Cephalotes atratus, the genus is Cephalotes, C-E-P-H-A-L-O-T-E-S. And uh, it's, um, you can see why they're called turtle ants. And yeah, you can also see it's fairly polymorphic. These we almost always find on the ground. I've seldom seen them climbing anywhere. Now what are they eating there, Dan? Something from a leaf. Are you sure? It's not feces, yeah. huh? Blue droppings. Yeah, droppings from... No shit. <laughs> well, I suspect it is, because you look at it from the ant's point of view. Yeah, yeah. Where are they going to get salts? Salts are in short supply. You know, when, when, let's. Uh...